So today we have a nice integration question. The question is that we have to find the integral of sin inverse x the whole cube with respect to x. Sin inverse x is also known as arc sin of x. So let us see the solution. How can we proceed to this? So first of all we will start the process by the substitution method. We will consider sin inverse x as u. So doing that over here. So first of all I am taking that sin inverse x let it be equals to u. So if this thing is equals to u, then taking derivative on both the sides. So derivative of u with respect to x is equals to derivative of sin inverse x. And there's a direct formula that derivative of sin inverse x is equals to 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. Now from here doing the cross multiplication gives me that 1, sorry, square root of 1 minus x square into du and that is the value of dx. Okay. Now there's one more thing over here. We have that sin inverse x is equals to u and it's a kind of normal equation and if we have done inverse trigonometric, it's known that x is equals to sin of u. How it is like if sin of 30 degree has a value that is equals to 1 by 2, then we write that sin inverse of that particular value 1 by 2 gives me this angle that is 30 degree. So similarly it was sin inverse x is equals to u. So from there we have the value of x that is sin of u and no inverse sin now. So this is the thing. So x has a value that is sin of u. So the value of x we have generated over here, we can just put it over here also. Only here, not here. So it will give me square root of 1 minus sin square u. 1 minus sin square u is equals to cos square u and square root of cos square u is equals to cos u. So cos of u into du and that is the value of dx. Okay. So this is the thing we have derived and here we have the value of sin inverse x is equals to u. So putting this and this in the original question. So first of all letting the integration be equals to i so this is my integration and this is equals to y so now we have that i is equals to integration of so first of all it was sin inverse x the whole cube sin inverse x is equals to u so it forms u cube into dx dx has a value that is cos of u into let it be clear so now we have to integrate this particular thing that is integration of u cube cos u with respect to u. Now how can we do that? So we have a nice formula that uh, integration i is equals to integration of two functions f of x and g of x they are in multiplication. So that is equals to f of x as it is integration of g of x with respect to x minus integration of derivative of f of x with respect to x and integration of g of x in multiplication with it and over here dx. So this is the formula we have. If there are two functions in multiplication and there's integration sign. So here also we have two functions u cube and cos u. Now we have to decide which of them has to taken as f of x and which of them has taken as g of x. Because we can see if anything we considered as f of x in this whole formula it has been derivative and g of x has been integrated. So if I will take u cube as my f of x it will be nice because derivative of f of x that is derivative of u cube will get decreased and become 3 u square. And if I have taken it as an integration, it values get increasing and increasing u4 upon 4, u to the power 5 upon 20 like that way. So we have to go with like this is equals to f of x and this is equals to g of x. So applying first of all, so i is equals to f of x as it is, so u cube as it is, integration of cos of u. So integration of cos of u has a formula that is sin u, okay, now negative sign, integration of derivative of u cube. So derivative of u cube is simple that is 3 u square into integration of g of x. Integration of g of x we just did that is integration of cos u and it gave us the answer sin u and with respect to u. Okay. Now integration of 3 u square and sin u after this I can take 3 common outside this integration. So 3 times the integration of this particular thing. Now here there is no integration sign it's done over here. But here we can again see it's the same formula f of x g of x and the integration sign. So we have to again apply the same formula over here. So this time again we have to take this as the f of x because as we take its derivative it will get decreased and this is of my gx. Now applying this again. So now we have i is equals to u cube sin u as it is. Yes, now negative 3 and now I have to put a bracket. Now f of x as it is, f of x as it is. So u square as it is, integration of g of x. So integration of sin u is negative cos of u. Then the negative sign, integration of derivative of f of x. So derivative of u square is 2 times u. Integration of sine of u that is negative cos of u and with respect to u. These are all direct formulas. There is nothing kind of complications in that. Yes. 
now just opening means just simplifying this so my i is equals to u cube into sine of u minus now opening this three as a bracket so minus and this minus and this minus become positive so positive three times the u square cos of u okay now this negative this negative and this negative they all three becomes a single times negative so negative of now three multiplied with two gives me six times the integration of u and cos of u with respect to e that is du so now we have reached this particular thing now in this also we can see this is all clear and good this is also all clear and good but here again we have the same thing integration of two functions as a product so now again we will take this as f of x and this as g of x as you can see the values are getting decreased here it was u cube and cos of u as we have taken correctly it is the f of x means it will get derivative its value is greeting that here it was e cube here it is u square and now here it is u so now if i will take its derivative so derivative of u is equals to 1 it is going to get vanished so that was a proper step so i is equals to u cube sin u plus 3 times the u square and cos u minus 6 times now a bracket will come f of x as it is so therefore u as it is integration of cos of u that is sin of u negative sin integration of derivative of f of x that is derivative of u that is 1 into integration of g of x that is integration of cos of u so that is equals to sin u now integration of sin of u is equals to negative of cos u so i will replace that over here and as it was a negative sign outside this integration so they both combined together give me positive cos of u and now all these things are over now here we have the final thing with no kind of any integral sign so now what we have to do is just put means simplify this by opening the brackets and taking things common and we have to replace u all the u over there with sin inverse of x and all the means this thing we have to just put over there again back so first of all i is equals to u cube of sin of u minus sorry plus 3 times u square of cos of u minus 6 times u of sin of u and minus 6 times cos of u now we can see that this and this are in sine and this and this are in cos so i can take sine and cos respectively common from them so from this and this if i will take any one i can take u common so u of sine u taken common so it remains u square minus 6 okay and from this and this if i will take positive 3 times cos of u so it will remain u square minus 2 okay so these are the things taken common now we have to just replace u with the particular value so u was considered as sine inverse x okay so first of all we can see it is u sine of u so if u is equals to sine inverse of x then we have that x is equals to sine of u okay these two things are there so first of all we have u so u has a value that is sine inverse of x now it is multiplied with sine of u sine of u has a value that is x so it becomes x into sine inverse of x now i am going to all now in this whole question i am going to put all the particular values directly so x into sine inverse of x now inside the bracket it will remain sine inverse x the whole square minus 6 plus 3 times cos of u so if u has a value that is sine inverse of x so cos of u becomes cos of sine inverse of x okay now if you have a triangle that is a right angle triangle as this angle is theta so if that is x the hypotenuse is 1 so we get that base is equals to 1 minus x square so if sine theta is equals to x upon 1 that is x so we have that theta is equals to sine inverse of x so this sine inverse of x will replace with this particular theta so we have cos of theta now from this triangle we have the value of cos of theta that is square root of 1 minus x square so cos u becomes square root of 1 minus x square and inside the bracket it is u square minus 1 so u has a value that is sine inverse of x so sine inverse of x the whole square and minus 2 so i'm just removing this rough work from here so it looks clear and better so just to calculate cos u it was written it's very simple all these things are just based upon normal trigonometry nothing complex is there so these things i'm removing so here we have the final answer that i is equals to x into sine inverse of x bracket sine inverse x the whole square minus 6 plus 3 times square root of 1 minus x square inside the bracket sine inverse x the whole square minus 2 but still this question is not looking beautiful because the constant is not added so plus the constant c because it is an integral so we have to add this constant and this makes this answer beautiful and absolutely correct 
we started with the substitution method then we reached this particular step and at this step we have this particular formula we applied this formula i think three times one two and three times and we reached this answer and at this answer we have to just replace u with the very nice value in terms of x and we get this following answer so this was my method to solve this particular equation and this time i'm sure there's no other method but still i can be wrong so if there is another method do comment below and if it's hard to write down in a comment section you can email or you can dm me on my instagram the links are in the description Thank you.